We are painting blazing cosmos. And your sky needs your water, maybe a little bit below the halfway point in your canvas. So if you're here, and then we're going to add in that line from one side all the way to the other. Like I said, it doesn't need to be perfect. We are going to cover it. With do like a smushing technique or now I'm gonna call it a smushing technique. We're going to just smush your brush into your canvas and I'm gonna make sure that it brings me, I'll kind of mark it out so you guys know how big I want this to be. Pretty big. So I'm just gonna give my brush a little dump. It's gonna blend from this lighter color out to this darker color, but it can be messy. So release your inner child, make a mess. Don't be a perfectionist right now. Okay. No, painting outside the lines. Really not lines at all, just that. But we want to use this darker blue around the outer edge of your circle. I'm going to feel it's not going to absorb the paint as much, which is really good, and it also gives you that rough texture. So I'm going to just put a little dip in that white paint. If you want it to be a little bit more organic, then I'm just going to let my arm do what it do, and Row around, but I want to make sure it stays towards the middle. So if you can see here, I've got a nice point on my branch because I'm barely touching the canvas with my brush. I'm going to work my way back. That's kind of how I like to do it. I like to make the initial shape, and then as I work my way down, I'm going to start to thicken it up. off and we'll leave the pressure off my brush and that's going to give me a nice point. And I'm just going to, just like I did kind of down here, very delicate brush strokes side to side, just underneath my orange. Splatter paint! You can basically put that anywhere. I'm just going to use my brush and just kind of, I like to call it peppering. I'm just gonna pepper the paint out of my brush. When you lay the canvas flat, it's less likely to make a mess. So. Ooh, and we call these shooting stars. So, if you're getting a lot of those and you're not a huge fan, just water down your paint a little bit more, but I think that they are a little bit. 